my channel. Today we're just going to be talking about nepotism in Hollywood. I um, thought we would just discuss some of the bigger celebrities and their the way they came about and who exactly are their parents as well. So let's just get right down to it. We have Gwyneth Paltrow. She was born in Los Angeles, the daughter of like a producer and director, Bruce Paltrow, and Tony Award winning actress, Blythe Bam Danner. Um, so her work start was like in Shakespeare in Love and the Marvel, Marvel movies, whoa. And now she has her own lifestyle brand called Goop, which is a billion dollar company and also has a Netflix special. So yes, she's controversial, but she wouldn't have gotten this huge start and gotten where she is right now without her parents. The next two are Jaden and Willow Smith. So Jaden actually got his first start with his dad in Pursuit of Happiness, where he would actually portray his son. And Willow, her big break was with Whip My Hair in 2010. So their parents are Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith and huge mega star family. The next one is Tori Spelling. So obviously you guys recognize her from Beverly Hills 90210, but she actually started acting way earlier and she would appear in a lot of her father's shows. So he is a huge um, Hollywood producer, Aaron Spelling, and her mom is Candy Spelling. So she started in his sh um, TV shows in like the 70s and then like gained fame and fame and then got her huge break in Beverly Hills 90210. There's a lot of families surrounding this drama. That's why like her name still keeps popping up in all the tabloids, but her parents, people. And then we have another sibling duo. We have Jake and Maggie Joan Hall. They actually played each other's siblings in a movie in um, Donnie Darko. So her, uh, both of their parents are um, also huge filmmakers and um, it's Naomi Foner and Steven Gyllenhaal. And fun fact, their godmother is Jamie Lee Curtis. Like, I mean, seriously, whoa. Then we have Rumor Willis. She is known for her, I guess like her smaller roles, but she's slowly building her way to getting a more prominent and like, I guess like A-list status celebrity. And her parents are Bruce Willis and Demi Moore. Her mother actually hired a cameraman to videotape her birth. Like, what? So literally came right into film. So then we have Kelly Osborne. She's like, a, I guess a media personality, not really too much in like movie screens or TV screens in that aspect, but more like a talk show, her, show person. And she's the daughter of Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne and their big break and her big break came in like the reality show for um, called the Osbournes, where her entire family, including her brother, was also on there. Then we have Kate Hudson. Obviously, you guys know her from so many of the rom-coms, especially in like the early 2000s. And she is the daughter of Goldie Hawn and actor Kurt Russell. They're both actors. And now she has her lifestyle clothing fitness brand called Fabletic. And I know you guys see the ads for those everywhere. Um, so stepped away from acting to now go into a lifestyle brand somewhat similar to Gwyneth Paltrow. And then we have Dakota Johnson. We all know her from Fifty Shades of Grey, and I know she's going into different roles as well now, trying to like separate herself from that um, genre of movies. And her parents are Don Johnson and Mel Melanie Griffith, also huge actors. And um, she actually started in a comedy with her mother when she was uh, 10 years old. So and it was called Crazy in Alabama. So the last one is Lily Collins. Lily Collins, you guys have seen her from such a small age in regards to, she was in the movie Abduction with Taylor Lautner, Love Rosie, and um, Bones. She was honestly like such a great actress and she is the daughter of Phil Collins, who's a major musician and she was born in Surrey, came to uh, Los Angeles as a child and she started acting at the age of two in Growing Pains. So these are some of the bigger names in Hollywood that came from famous parents. So let me know what you guys think about this and 
hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you want more content.